I'm actually pro nuclear as well. Like I think nuclear has a bad rap, and it's、uh, people really shouldn't be shutting down nuclear power stations, in my view, it, unless they're in like a, a location that's prone to natural disasters. Between now and then, we we need、uh, to maintain nuclear. I, I can't emphasize enough. Please do not shut down the nuclear power plants. Nuclear generation accounts for 8.9 percent of the energy we use. It recently slipped to third place, following renewables. And within a few decades, it will supplant fossil fuels as our primary source of energy. Analysts predict that with the rapid development of nuclear energy technology, within a few decades, the price of this type of energy will be cheaper and even supersede fossil fuels and renewable energy, including solar and wind, becoming the U.S. primary source of energy in general and Texas in particular. So, what makes nuclear power likely to dominate the energy market in the future? Let's find out in today's episode of Tesla Car World. By the way, welcome back to our channel. Please show your support by subscribing and ringing the bell so you won't miss any of our interesting videos in the future. Now let's get started on today's content. According to the U.S. Department of Energy, nuclear energy has by far the highest capacity factor of any other energy source. This basically means nuclear power plants are producing maximum power more than 92% of the time during the year. That's about nearly two times more than natural gas and coal units, and almost three times are more reliable than wind and solar plants. A nuclear power plant can operate 24 hours a day, and hence it produces more total annual energy and requires less maintenance. On the contrary, renewable energy plants are considered intermittent or variable sources and can be interrupted by a lack of fuel, for example, wind and sun. We currently rely on uranium to fuel the nuclear reaction processes in nuclear power plants, but over the next decade or two, we'll follow India's lead and work toward thorium-based reactor systems. These systems, which utilize thorium and fluoride salts, are more expensive to build, but the advantages of thorium reactors are significant. Thorium reactors have efficiency levels as high as 98% compared to 5% for current uranium-based technologies, placing them well above fossil fuel and renewable energy. The same analysis points out that thorium produces twice as much energy as uranium fission processes. On the other hand, renewable energy sources such as wind and solar are also being widely used by Americans in general, and particularly in Texas. Solar energy accounts for 46% of all new electricity generating capacity expected to join the grid in 2022, which comes out to be about 21 and a half gigawatts. However, there is a big downside to solar energy, which is the cost. Solar panels cost between $4,000 to $35,000, depending on the type and model. Additionally, the installation cost of other solar products, such as solar roofs, is still high. For example, the average cost of a Tesla solar roof for a house is around fifty-five thousand dollars, excluding additional costs. Therefore, with such cost levels, now it's difficult for low-income families in the U.S. to fully access solar power electricity. Meanwhile, nuclear energy can overcome this drawback. Accordingly, those who are using a solar power system will have to pay for the installation and maintenance of the accompanying products. But businesses and people using nuclear power only have to pay the cost of using the electricity grid. Next, the cost of using nuclear power is also quite cheap. According to some sources, people only have to spend around two dollars per watt of nuclear power, while the customers will pay about two point. Two dollars and twenty-one cents per watt for Tesla solar panels before the federal solar tax credit, but the price can vary depending on where they live. Even there are, there are even places where people have to pay up to two dollars and fifty-one cents per watt for Tesla's solar panels. Liquid fluoride thorium reactors partly help to optimize the cost of nuclear power. The fuel cost is significantly lower than a solid fuel reactor. The salts cost roughly $150 per kilogram, and thorium costs about $30 per kilogram. According to analysts, the cost of nuclear power will also be further reduced thanks to the ab abundant reserves of thorium. Thorium reserves are very large; it's three to four times more abundant than uranium in the Earth's crust, and widely distributed in nature as an easily exploitable resource in many countries. Experts estimate that there is enough thorium in the United States alone to power the country at its current energy level for over a thousand years. 
According to the data from the United States Geological Survey and the International Atomic Energy Agency, the largest thorium reserves in the world are found in India, which has around 25% of the world's reserves. Currently, estimated at 519,000 tons, Australia has 489,000 tons, which represents 19% of the world reserves. The United States has the third largest in the world, which is estimated to be about 400,000 tons or 13% of the world's reserves. Nevertheless, nuclear energy still has a few drawbacks. One of the most serious problems with nuclear power today is safety. The power reactors in a nuclear power plant are making plutonium, and the element is highly toxic. If not properly handled, it can cause extreme radiation-based diseases. In fact, nuclear accidents and after-effects are not very rare. Any sort of leakage can lead to complicated life-threatening diseases for the population living nearby. The most realistic examples are the Chernobyl and Fukushima nuclear disasters that happened. Aside from that, nuclear energy is neither green energy nor renewable. The reason why nuclear energy is not green is that it involves radioactive materials and wastes. The availability of uranium for nuclear reaction is also limited. Uranium is also only available in a few countries, and their deposits will eventually run out like fossil fuels. Even so, there is still a solution that will ease your mind about the safety of nuclear energy. Thorium is a low radioactive metallic chemical element, hence thorium field reactors offer a potentially safer, cleaner, and more affordable alternative to traditional reactors fueled with highly radioactive elements. Moreover, thorium is much safer compared to uranium. According to experts, thorium only emits alpha radiation, which is weak enough that it can't penetrate human skin. On top of that, thorium also can be applied in other fields. In the past, Tesla's CEO Elon Musk has shared that thorium will be a very potential material for nuclear batteries. Indeed, scientists have taken advantage of thorium to develop a new nuclear battery with an extremely long lifespan. We're talking a new nuclear battery that uses nuclear waste and lasts up to 35,000 years. Currently, the average life of the electric vehicle battery is anywhere between 10 to 20 years. In any case, the power of the nuclear battery comes from radioactive isotopes used in nuclear reactors, which can be produced from thorium's radioactive isotopes. The battery can be used to power devices and machines of any size, from aircraft and rockets to electric vehicles and smartphones. Otherwise, that's it for today's episode. We sincerely thank you for watching and for all of your support of our channel. As always, if you enjoyed our video, please leave a like, share the video, subscribe to the channel, and ring that bell to stay up to date on exciting developments in the world of EVs. Once again, we thank you so much. From all of us here, we hope to see you again next time. Until then, take care and be safe.